Welcome to Ancestral Wisdom, the wisdom of the past guides our future. Today, we're going to be talking about Ewo, the rune Ewo, and what it means and how we can use the wisdom embedded in, in that particular ideograph to enhance our lives and understand concepts that will make us better versions of ourselves. Evo. It means horse. <clears throat> and the, the form is often said to be two horses facing each other. So the very middle you could think of as the basically the point that the horse's noses are touching. Um, I always also like to think of this as the joining of two people as well. So you could think of the middle as being the hands that are holding, that are grasping each other um, as they face whatever is in front of them. So uh, any, however you want to conceptualize it, um, it's a joining of two forces. You have the force on one side, joining the force on the other side. And the, the connection with the horse is important because the horse was always seen as a very spiritual animal. And, and that's, that's true. It's true that man has often cultivated very deep and meaningful relationships with animals in general, but with horses in particular. And there's a, there's a mingling of spirits if your relationship with an animal is strong. <clears throat> and part of that, that mystery is, is embedded in the meaning of this ruin. That being said, the horse is also very important in mythology in, in many types of ancient paganism from the worship of Mars to Odin's eight-legged horse Slipnir. And what does Odin do with that horse? He rides it across the realms, right? He can use the horse, the eight-legged horse Slepnir, to span the different realms and to journey to all of the different states of being that those realms represent for us. So it's a, it's a, a link that helps us to span what might normally be an insurmountable, an, a, a path fraught with insurmountable obstacles in the, in the context of human ability. But through Slipnir, Odin can span those realms. And through the knowledge of this, this rune and its ability to help us understand that those, those realms are not spatial as much as they are conceptual, will allow us to be able to venture into those areas ourselves. The myth of the divine twins is very important related to this rune. And you, you, there, there are so many myths in different cultures. The first that comes to mind, of course, uh, for me is uh, Romulus and, and Remus with my uh, my deep in ancient Rome and and Latin. But in in all, as far as I'm aware, in all pagan traditions, there is either one or multiple pairs of either brothers or half brothers or, or some sort of twin, uh, whether, whether divine, um, or, or, or mortal and eventually raised to some sort of divine status. And the, the meaning behind those myths is also represented by the Evo rune. Um, the, the harmonious and balancing nature of two forces. 
because of that, that's also the ruin of trust and of deep, important, meaningful human relationships, including the relationship between a man and his wife. So this rune can be easily invoked in a marriage ceremony, for example, and the joining of these two forces to become greater than they previously were, to create and to have both of their spheres of, of influence and both of their astral wavelengths combining to form something that is greater than the sum of the parts. So that's Ewo. It's a connection. It's a harmony. It's a trust. And it is a powerful joining of forces. Use it in your meditation or your magical workings whenever you need to join two forces together to make something greater than the sum of their parts. That could be two aspects of your personality that seem as if they are contradictory. Find a way to join them. You might be integrating part of your shadow, your Jungian shadow, into who you are. And so it's possible that you can, if you're engaged in, in that type of adventure, you can use the force of the Ewo Ruin to help you join the, your shadow with the rest of your yourself. You can use this in creative workings. If you're a musician, for example, and you're working with an, another musician to create songs, a lyricist and a, uh, and, and, and a composer, for example. Whenever you're joining two things together, you can call upon this rune to help you understand that the, the joining itself in its own way is a transition from one realm into another. He who through his eyes on Sus Ride Okinas Gibo on Johagalas. Now, these is a hero. You was Petro Elgas. So we load you on. Burkano Evo Manas Lagus in Vas Degas. Oh, ah, ah.